Hi everyone and welcome to week 15 in environmental science. This week we're going to cover content from chapter 16 in our textbook. The content page includes learning objectives, terms to know, some information just about the renewable energy landscape in general, and then the last two tabs have specific information about um, specific forms of renewable energy. So please use these resources as you read chapter 16. Our discussion is focused on our favorite and least favorite forms of renewable energy. So that's what I'm asking you to describe in your initial post and make sure that you're using credible sources to back up your um, rationale for seeing, uh, for um, deciding which form is your least and most favorite. Here are some examples of some high quality sources that you might wanna use when you craft your initial post. So make sure you get those initial posts done by Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. and then make sure that you follow up to at least two of your peers by the end of the day on Saturday. This week's lab is also focused on renewable energy. Specifically, um, you're going to make a pros and cons table that describes how you generate um, electricity using each, or electricity or energy using each of these different renewable um, technologies. And then you're gonna describe pros and cons of each. So you might wanna get this done before you do the discussion because it's certainly pretty closely related to what I'm asking you to do there. On the next tab, there's a bunch of visual data and you're being asked to look, it's showing you the potential for generating energy from all of these different renewable sources, biomass, um, solar, geothermal, hydrothermal, etc. cetera. Um, and what I'm gonna ask you to do here is fill out this table using this information. So you're just looking at California here and you're describing um, which regions have the highest and lowest potential for each of these different forms of renewable energy. And then finally, based on what you did in the first two tabs, you're just going to describe for each of these region, region, regions of California, what do you think um, would be the best form of renewable energy to power that region? And then you're gonna justify your decision. Let's go back to the module view and scroll down. So in addition to the discussion and the laboratory, there's a practice quiz, an ungraded practice quiz that's pretty closely related to what you'll see in the graded quiz. So I recommend you get that done before you attempt the graded quiz. Um, the final posts for the discussion are due Saturday with initial posts due Wednesday. Your lab is due Saturday at the end of the day and your graded quiz is due Saturday at the end of the day. There's a couple of extra things in this week's module. One of them is the ice duration and climate change lab report. This relates to the second part of your climate change lab where you graphed and then did some analysis of the ice duration data set for Lake Mendota. So now you're being asked to use the figure that you already created for that lab, clean it up. Maybe you got some feedback about how you could improve it um, in the comments for the lab assignment. And you're being asked to um, provide the other components of a lab report, namely a title and an abstract. So this is also due at the end of week 15. So that's going to be Saturday, May 18th. And then finally, this is an exam readiness check. It's worth five points. This is an opportunity to get you thinking about exam two and also an opportunity for me to um, check in with you about it. So I'll be sure to give you some comments and um, some support if you need it when I take a look at your exam readiness assignment. 
This module, the week 16 module, will also open at the same time that the week 15 module opens. And that's because I want you to be able to see this exam 2 information page, which, is, which contains some useful information to help you get ready for exam 2. And also so you have access to this optional discussion where you have the opportunity to post questions and respond to your peers' questions, and um, I'll be sure to check in on that discussion as well. Exam two won't open until Sunday, May 19th. Um, so just the first two parts of this module are going to open up early. So that's what you can expect in week 15. And please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.